Pascal triangle and its uses. Now we are going to study today Pascal triangle and its uses. It is a basically a triangle. In mathematics, we are going to make a triangle, not a exactly triangle, but it is looking like a triangle. Now first we we use one and take one at left hand side and one at right hand side. Now we are going to add these two numbers one and one. So we'll get here two. 1 plus 1 2 now again put 1 and the left hand side and right hand side we will get 1 plus 1 into 1 now we are again going to add 1 plus 2 3 1 plus 2 3 and 1 and 1 now again add these two numbers 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 4 and again 1 and 1 now again add these two numbers 4 plus 1 5 4 plus 6 10 6 plus 4 10 4 plus 1 5 again 1 and 1 this is a triangle we can again add here 6 we'll get here 15 we'll get here 20 we'll get here 15 and 6 again 1 1 and 1 now in this triangle 1 will be and left hand side as well as right hand side now uses of this triangle in mathematics we know a plus b raised to power 1 is equal to a plus b now a plus b raised to power 2 is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square now again a plus b raised to power 3 is equal to we can write a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus bq now a plus b raised to 4 we can write here a raised to power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 6a square b square plus 4abq plus b raised to power 4 now in this there is a symmetry here 1 and 1 here 1 2 1 here 1 3 3 1 here 1 4 6 4 and 1 so match this here for first we can write here this is the coefficient of a plus b raised to power 1 for here we can add this is the coefficient of a plus b raised to power 2 this will be the coefficient of a plus b raised to power 3 this will be the coefficient of a plus b raised to power 4 and this will be the coefficient of a plus b raised to power 5 and this will be a plus b raised to power 6 so we can make a long triangle with this pascal triangle hope you will understand these things Thanks a lot.